Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Stuart James Hutchings and Raymond Keane that was played in Wulakom in 1973. And where is Wulakom? It is a seaside resort on the coast of England. White started with c4, knight to f6, knight to c3, b6, knight to f3, bishop to b7, d4, e6, g3. This is the fourth most popular move in this position. More popular is a3, preventing bishop to b4. Another one is bishop to f4 and e3. In our game we have g3, bishop to b4, queen's Indian defense, bishop to d2 and pinning, c5, attacking white center. Bishop takes knight. Is tempting. Is it good? Well, it's playable, but it's not better than c5. Yes, black is doubling pawns on the f-file. Let's have a look at this continuation. Castling, bishop to g2, d5, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on d5, f4, and white is somewhat better. White has bishop pair. In the game, black played better move, c5. a3. Bishop takes knight. White has a bishop pair, but not for long. Knight to e4, threatening to capture bishop and to double the pawns. Queen to c2. Knight takes bishop. Queen takes knight. And now, excellent move by black. Queen to f6. White would love to play bishop to g2. Instead, he played rook to d1. So, what is wrong with bishop to g2? Then, pawn takes pawn. And then, White is advised not to capture pawn. He would have to play something like queen to c2. Because if queen takes on d4, queen takes queen, knight takes queen, and bishop takes bishop. So rook to d1 was played. Black played. Bishop takes knight on f3. Queen takes bishop. Queen takes queen. Pawn takes queen. Knight to c6. Attacking pawn on d4. And white captured on c5. Only helping black with that move. Because black is going to use semi-open file to attack with rooks. Now let's go back. If d5 is played then knight to d4, f4, and black is okay. Okay, now, bishop to g2, logical move. Rook to b8, attacking pawn on b2. Defending, rook to b3, another rook is coming to b8. King to d1, king to e7. There is no need to castle, it's endgame, and king is our fighting piece. f4, very logical move. Knight to d4, king to c1, and now, first move that comes to mind is rook from h to b8. Instead, h5. This is very deep move. That move is provoking h4 and that is what white played. 
rook from h to b8 and now I will play a random move to show you what the threat is here. Rook takes pawn on g3 and now pawn h pawn has moved to h4 so white can't recapture with h pawn he must recapture with f pawn and now check king to c2 knight takes rook king takes knight check and say king to c3 rook takes bishop that's why in this position I said that h5 was very deep move okay let's go back to our game this is the position now and threat is rook takes on g3 so white played the bishop to f1 rook to f3 threat is knight to b3 check for king king and rook king to d1 if king goes to b1 what happens then how would you continue if you had black pieces rook takes on a3 so in the game king to d1 was played it is black to move what would you play in this position if you had black pieces if you wish you can pause this video and you can try to find the winning move for black ready the winning move is rook takes pawn on a3 and white resigned in view of this continuation pawn takes rook rook to b1 check mate this was the game in which knight black knight was much more stronger than bishop interesting game isn't it and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now